Okay, let me go over his speech and then mine. Um, so first to, to talk about uh, sort of the big picture here. Basically what Ben is doing is he's trying to convince you that if you incentivize governments or, or if you give foreign aid governments to governments, uh, they're inevitably going to continue to become really oppressive. Okay, and he says that that's based on logic. But there have been clear warrants showing that that's not actually how the real world operates. Okay, so let me just explain the Kenya card a little bit more. The Kenya card shows that the government in Kenya is misbehaving. And when it misbehaves, governments that are providing foreign aid to it uh, try to try to you know, or try to rebuke them to get together and have meetings uh, and and start start thinking about ways that they can correct the situation so Kenya throws them a bone and says okay we're doing this but they're violating human rights in all these other kinds of ways and then they don't actually change so what that shows is that conditional aid so doesn't actually finish. affect uh, not at this time yeah. conditional aid doesn't actually affect the, the, the way that the government's working at least not in the way that Ben is conceptualizing it okay and also, I don't even have to show that it doesn't work, because he, as the proposition, has to come before you and show you that conditional aid actually changes governments, because his entire case is predicated on the assumption that conditional aid is going to achieve the systematic reform that he's looking for. We all agree that systematic reform is good, but see, the thing that I'm trying to show you is that we can achieve this in the NED world without giving up the foreign aid that we're giving to people, which has a lot of good impacts, as I'll explore in just a bit. Let me talk really quickly about this thing that he said about direct aid being a bandage. Direct aid is not a bandage because we're giving it, uh, okay, so here, here's how it goes. We give it directly to the people, okay, and we don't go through the government. So the government has no incentive because they're not getting any money from it. And in fact, the people that are being suppressed are being helped. So we achieve the same thing. And we can still work on reforming policies that the government has, but we don't have to give up we not okay. We we can we can ha we, we can what Cuba the United States Cuba shows as, as the Obama Castro uh, negotiations show is that th there can be discussions that go on without actually uh, withholding foreign aid. That that's not the only solution that's available so to us. That's the that's the, that's not the only yeah. Have we been giving foreign aid to Cuba? Over no, but I'm showing that, what, what I'm showing is that there are other options as well. It's not like the only tool that the United States has in its basket when it tries to work with other governments is by sanctioning them without and, and and refusing to give them foreign aid. So what I'm showing you is that everything that's available to the affirmative, all the all the benefits that are available to the affirmative in terms of reforming governments is also are also available to the negative. Uh, to the opposition. Uh, what I'm showing you is that, so, so I'm not trying to, to give direct aid to people as a bandage solution. There are real problems that people are suffering from that we have to fix while we at the same time try to reform governments. And what, I, what I've shown clearly with the Kenya card is that the solution when we try to reform governments that are corrupt or misbehaving is not to withhold aid from them because that doesn't work. Subpoint B I did address, I didn't drop, I said that it depends or it's predicated upon con uh, contention one subpoint A. And because I've shown that subpoint A doesn't work, subpoint B falls. The impact don't, the impact there are going to happen regardless of whether or not, uh, out, like uh, entirely outside of this debate. Um, so subpoint B falls because it depends on subpoint A. Resolution, moving on to my case. Contention number one, resolution's too vague. Again, Ben has offered no way for us to practically evaluate how well a country's doing in terms of protecting human rights. Uh, there, there's, there's, what, 50% of women are protected in that, in, in that particular country? 49%, 48%, what, ki what kinds of metrics are we looking at? There's no clear solvency here coming from the affirmative, and therefore you can't think that this is a good plan. The second con contention was that we have harms on people, and let me expand on this with a few warrants. So the first, uh, the first few benefits are economic, okay? Um, let me show this to you with this card. In their July 2014 article, uh, a group of researchers argues that Dutch aid returned, uh, or, or Dutch aid had a rate of return of 4%, increasing exports by 11.9 billion euros over the period which matched and even exceeded the amount of exporting uh, aid that they were, that they were providing in, in the period of time. In other words, the group of researchers concluded aid pays for itself. And the third thing is, wait, I messed up. 
Oh, that's fine. Oh, man. Hey, you get to speak again. <laughs> Alright. Close it.